What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today with Andrew Neighbors. Yeah, that's me. Also known as Andrew Ghost Places. Also me. We're gonna be taking a test today, and we're gonna find out how gay we are. Not. I'm. I'm not very gay. Yeah, same. I'm so, actually the least gay person there is. Mm -hmm. Eye drops important. Oh. I had people from Instagram submit questions that you would ask someone to find out how gay they are. Okay. And we have not looked at these questions yet, so we're gonna open up Instagram, we're gonna read through the questions, and we're going to give you our raw, honest answers. Raw. Well, you just gotta yeah. <laughs> What? <laughs> so like each question, like there'll be like a winner from it, and then mm -hmm. whoever has the most. Yeah, will okay. be crowned queen. Obviously, this is just for fun. We are probably going to be seeing some questions that might play into gay stereotypes, and that's okay, guys. It's okay to, you know, not take ourselves so seriously all the time. That's true. We have to laugh every now and then. And you guys can play along too. You know, keep a tally, see how gay you are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's open up the questions and see how gay we are. We'll start light. Okay, I'm ready. Uh, do you drink your coffee iced or hot? Iced, always. Exclusively. Yeah. You? 100 million. I never have hot coffee. Well, <sighs> sometimes at work I have an espresso that's hot. Uh-uh. It sometimes, hurts yeah. my teeth. Hot coffee hurts your teeth, mm -hmm. but the oh. cold doesn't. Is it just because? Is it all gays around the world, or is it? Because I, I know it's it's a thing that gays only drink iced coffee, but I think we just have like refined taste, and it's just better. Yeah, you know. So we both get a point. Sure. One, one. What's your signature cocktail? <laughs> so. <laughs> That's so gay. That's the problem. <laughs> okay, you're yours first. You guys, yours. Well, it depends. So if I'm drinking like on a Sunday fun day and I'm just trying to like get a little drunk going, I'll do a vodka soda with a splash of cranberry. But That's if I'm- gay. It's pretty gay. But if I'm just trying to enjoy a drink, I'll have an old fashioned, which is pretty straight. Those are two good answers. I like that. Um, my drink of choice, if I'm going out, is sugar-free Rebel Vodka. That's pretty gay too. And if I'm just trying to enjoy as a margarita. I think that scare. Is that gayer? Mm -hmm. So I think I'm gayer there? Yeah, I think you're gayer there. Uh, yeah, yours old fashioned is classy. That's pretty massive. Nice. I get the point then. Yes. Because this is this is like whoever gets the most points wins because they're the gayest. Boom. Because the gayer you are, the, the better, better you are. are. Oh. Yeah. We're in sync right there. Synergy. Synergy. Amex or Visa Infinite? Is that a thing? Amex or Visa Infinite? Is that a thing? Are we poor? Like, what... <laughs> <laughs> Is that a thing? The type of credit card you use makes Stop you Stop being poor! <laughs> How many Drag Race episodes have you seen? Full episodes? Yeah. Zero. Zero? I've never watched a full episode of Drag Race. What? Yeah. Why? I don't know. I just never um, really... Me and my friends watch it every Thursday night, so we have a viewing party. So I guess you get a point. Yeah. I Though, get that point there. I know a lot of straight people that love Drag Race. And stereotype and plenty of gay people that hate it yeah see i mean i don't hate it i think it's funny and i the memes and stuff are great mm -hmm. but like i just don't want to sit down and watch and get like that involved in too. i just like the weekly it's event. like a, yeah it's yeah. like a ritual it's like a ritual that people it's a ritual get yeah i, I get that very... i want to do that but mm -hmm. like i don't have friends so yeah no one likes andrew yeah do you oh. cross your legs when you're sitting randomly yeah i do a lot all the time one time yeah. yeah is that a gay thing i feel like i mean i feel like it might be I feel like there might be some like subconscious thing about it. Yeah. I sit, I'm literally sitting on my leg right now, see? But you're not, you're not crossing your legs. Yeah, but like, I, gay sit weird. Really? Yeah. If I'm sitting like in an importance meeting, yeah. I'll cross my legs because I feel more sophisticated that way. So we both get a point for that one. Sure. Yeah, even. We're neck and neck right now, right? Do you know who Kim Petras is? Of course I know who Kim Petras is. That's the night we met. After Kim, Kim Petras. Petras concert. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, we both get a point for that one. Yeah. Kim Petras is actually really awesome. If you don't know her, go check her out. She's a really good person too. She's really sweet. Um, her music is so fucking good and so she good. is an icon. And she should be bigger than she is right now. I think yeah. she should, she's gotta blow up. Love you, Kim. We love you, Kim. How but, expensive is your underwear? Not that expensive. I mean, I have, I have a lot of free underwear that I got from like various like videos and yeah. stuff. I think they mean underwear that you've paid for. How nice is it? I don't remember the last time I bought underwear. Did what are you briefs? wearing right now? Calvin's. Well, I'm wearing sweatpants, I'm not wearing underwear. What? Yeah. <laughs> oh no, I love my underwear. Okay, so I- Whenever I, whenever I cannot wear underwear, I don't wear it, because I hate it. I get a ton of free underwear, and I still mm -hmm. purchase oh. underwear. It's a waste of money. I know, 
I give a lot of underwear to my friends. Like, oh, well, that's nice yeah. of you. That's charitable. Yeah. I win that. I win a point for that one, I guess. Yeah. Who's okay. your favorite Disney character or princess? I don't mind. Do you know yours? Let me think, because I am a huge fan of Disney. Clearly, because you, you have so many favorite I, characters. There's like up. there's a bunch of them that are neck and neck, and I've never mm -hmm. been asked to name a favorite. Elsa from Frozen. And what do you like her? I am her. You're Elsa? Why? Well, I am an ice queen. Mulan. Ah, oh, I love Mulan okay, so much. That's a good one. That's my favorite Disney movie. My sister and I would watch that movie over and over and over again. The best music, the best story. It's it's We love Mulan. I don't know about the best music, but it's very good. What do you want? A girl We're worth fighting, fighting for. We don't want any women, though. Mm. I actually think we both got a point for that, that we just did there. <laughs> I like this one. <laughs> How fast do you walk? I walk really fast. Fucking fast. Yeah. Have you seen that meme that's like, straight people, look behind you. There's probably a gay guy trying to get by. <laughs> <laughs> why is that? Why do straight people, why do gay people? I think it's just where shit to do. Yeah, we have to, we have, we have to go to the gym. We, we have to go to the party. The party. Yeah. Bus. Next place. Another club. Another, Another club. club. Another club. We got all these places to go that Gaga has told us to go to. That's why we're like, move. We're busy. Like, go to Subway and Applebee's and get out the fucking way <laughs> and let me go. Okay, I love Subway and Applebee's, so. We should, I don't think we should, I think we're straight shaming a little bit. <sighs> well. Well. They get a second. Yeah. Do we, but we both get another point. Do you wear Speedos? What is a Speedo? Yeah. Who, who wears Speedos? I love Speedos. I wear them all the time. Mm -hmm. Multiple reasons. One, my tan looks better. I like how my tan looks. Two, the material dries so much more quickly. So like, I don't have to deal with this like huge swimsuit that's getting soaked and then having to like, like worry about putting clothes back on or whatever. Like if I'm out with, at the pool or beach with my friends and I get my Speedo wet, it's dried and like, Five minutes, and I can put my clothes right back on. There's no problem. And then, also, you like um, showing off your body. Yeah, yeah. Not, not gonna lie, you work on it, so you might as well show it off. It takes. It's a level of confidence. The first time I, I agree. Speedo, yeah, I still like even. I still get like at a party. Like I'll do like the typical gay thing where you wear the speedo and then have like another bathing suit on top. And depending on how you feel, you might take off the the bathing suit on top. I thought I was the only one who did that. Literally every gay does that. Hmm. We both get points. Yeah, I think we do. We're, we're both we're both pretty we're gay. Both pretty gay. It turns out. Who would, have, who would have thought? Yeah, we're so bro. Do you okay. have a gold star? Do you have a gold star, Andrew? No. No. Do you? Mm, I've been inside a girl. Is that too graphic for when you? When you were too? born? What? No. <laughs> What's like a platinum gay? If you were like born by C-section, which means you've never touched a vagina. I don't like that word. <laughs> <laughs> Point. Point. <laughs> Did you have like a girlfriend in high school? You yeah. dated for years and you were in love. Yeah. Ugh. I dated a girl for like three years and. So I think I'll get a point for this because you actually dated a girl for like years. I've never dated a girl. I think you do get the point. Yeah. I knew. Never from... dated a girl. Oh no. man, I had a lot of girlfriends. I was a little. Well, of course you did. I just didn't like. I just knew from day one. I just didn't like girls. Yeah, we're tied. We're neck and neck right now. Is this the last one? Do you own more jock straps than sports you actually play? Okay. Fuck off! <laughs> I don't play any sports. I weight lift and I own a couple. Um, how many do you own? Is this the tie is this the tiebreaker right now? I probably own like three. I can't find mine. I had a few. I had a bunch, but it's not like I went out and bought them. I got them through a BuzzFeed video because I did men wear jock straps for a day, so I had like eight jock straps. But I can't find them. I feel like I put them in a box somewhere and they're gone. I have I purchased some. My reasoning is that they don't trap sweat, and so then it causes less acne down there. Oh, you actually like wear them, like just like I have recreationally. Worn, I have worn them to the gym oh. to keep from getting sweaty. If I know I'm gonna be like doing mm. like a super serious sweaty day. Mm. A friend told me he likes wearing jock straps to the gym because it makes him feel sexier, and then he works out better. I believe that. Yeah, I believe that. I'd say we tied. Do we tie? Or did I win? I don't know, it's like anticlimactic if one of us has to be gay, right? Are we both just as gay? I guess we're equally gay. Damn. I mean... Makes sense. Moral of the story here is... What? Oh, there's a moral? Yeah, the moral of the story. <laughs> moral of the story, look. Um, you're your own person. Don't let 
society's ideas of what a gay man is supposed to be decide who you are. Yeah, stop stereotyping. Stereotyping sucks. We all have fun. Like some gays like RuPaul's Drag Race, some don't. It's okay to be different. It's okay to fit into some stereotypes and not fit into others. Right. Just, you know, feel, we want you to feel free to be your best self. Agreed. All right. Is that a good moral? That was a good moral. Did we kill it? Go check out Andrew's channel. We just did a video together where we read each other's grinder messages. I'll link it up below. Subscribe to him, of course. As always, please like and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you actually get notified when videos come out. Thanks for watching, you guys. See ya. See Bye. You.